um, because Ege knows how to play physical and uh, fast. So let's see. One second left. The games should start uh, yeah, soon. I mean, the one that loses uh, will play later today, uh, around 10 o'clock. And the one that wins will go for tomorrow. So uh, <laughs> difficult to say what you, uh, uh, what's the better deal. I believe I'm trying. So it's, uh, what time is it? It's 5.30. We have uh, almost 300 people um, in the live chat, in the live stream uh, watching the game. Um, and this is one of the highlights of the day. <coughs> Bamberg against uh, Ege. Um, this is Champions Cup 2016, the biggest uh, tournament worldwide in underwater rugby. Um, your commentators here for the whole uh, weekend are Lorena uh, from the sport of a team uh, like me, Wolf. Uh, we are both underwater rugby coaches, both referees. And uh, Lorena is world uh, champion uh, last year in Cali as a goalkeeper. Um, I'm also a fitness coach and uh, a free journalist. I'm writing for the uh, VDST magazine Sporthaucher which is the biggest uh, club magazine uh, in Germany for divers and uh, underwater rugby sports. And I'm writing there uh, about uh, underwater rugby. Um, so uh, yeah, we have uh, underwater rugby really uh, all around us. Uh, we are both coaches of uh, our youth team and uh, of uh, Lorena of the women's team and uh, me of the men's team. Uh, here in Sportau Berlin. Okay, we're waiting for the start. Bamberg in blue German team against Ege in white, uh, the Turkish team. And uh, the referees are ready. And here we go. Bamberg uh, recovered the ball. It was a nice uh, start with a, a whole turnaround uh, for the player. And he pushed the ball forward right in the arms of his, uh, uh, of the other, of his own uh, teammate. It was a really good start. But he's stuck now in a cluster right over the Bamberg uh, uh, basket. And uh, we see uh, Hannes Hoffmann on the basket, I think. I'm not, I'm not sure if he is. I think he's a foot checker. Don't know. Probably not. He's trying to build up this attack and uh, doing a good job. Um, but um, Bamberg is into position. They're also a very experienced player. They have been in the Champions Cup for 10 years now. And, so and they know. Yeah, they definitely know. And this this is a... Sorry, didn't want to... No, no, it's good. This is a dangerous zone for Ege because the forechecking of Bamberg is uh, unbelievably strong. And uh, if, if they lose the ball right there, they will catch uh, uh, a counter um, attack. And uh, this can be hard uh, because Bamberg is really fast. But right now, Ege stays in ball control. But uh, it's difficult for them to reach the basket and get through this four checking zone, which is about three, four meters around, uh, like a, a half a dome around uh, the Bamberg basket. Uh, formidable uh, four checking. And uh, really, you really have to be careful passing. Uh, between these fast and experienced players. Yes, and Eger is trying to build up and they're concentrating and controlling so the ball because... This is one attack here on the close side going in, but uh, uh, Bamberg uh, recovered the ball and uh, now they're on the heavily well, attack. And Eger recovered the ball yeah, and now even, Bamberg recovered even the ball. Even in the half of Bamberg. <laughs> It's back and forth, but it's not the, the ball interception blame uh, game. It's really bodily. It's really yes. physical right from the start. And uh, they don't try to intercept passes. They go for the body and go for the player. Um, uh, whoa, it's tough, tough for Bamberg even to, uh, to as it was right now for uh, Ege to reach uh, the Bamberg basket. It's difficult for Bamberg to reach the basket of Ege because the forward checking of Ege is also... Uh, very tough and very concentrated. Um, interesting. Uh, it looks even like a, a like another team than we've seen be seen before. Um, 
um, in the in the last games. I wasn't this impressed, even though I told you I love the Egge team and they play beautiful on the water rugby. But I wasn't that impressed from uh, what they did. But this is concentrated, tough playing as I uh, know them. And Bamberg has really a hard time to getting through. And uh, Egge even this is Hakan, I think, uh, recover the ball and uh, trying to uh, counter attack. Um, very well done, very difficult through uh, the game of the I mean, Bamberg players. Yes, I mean, it's not easy on any of the team. This is not a clear, stronger team. This is uh, really uh, a tough fight. Uh, and we have now um, Bamberg trying to attack, but it's already the surface fighting. I mean, they're ping pong, I mean, recovering the ball. Like right now, Eger tried to, to start a counter attack, but Bamberg. Uh, recovered the ball and um, try to start the counter counter attack. <laughs> Bamberg, these are already a, a player of Bamberg on top of uh, of the uh, Bamberg um, player, and now um, they're trying to build up from the semicircle around the the goalie. Uh, right now, they are a little bit like more static probably trying to catch a breath because you know so far has been so speedy the game and now Bamber is, is just looking letting their mates to recover and uh, just wait in the close corner uh, also Eger is just you know re uh, changing the goalies and the defender and right now the attack is about to start already started Bamber trying to attack there's a player on right and one left uh, with the ball um, right now, uh, they had to pull out, and there's two other uh, attackers trying uh, to break through the defenders, but um, the defender really got the ball. Uh, this is really physical, it's really hard. I mean, hmm. even harder than what I've seen from Molde. They're really, uh, that's Bamberger um, almost got underneath the goalie, but it was stopped by two Ege players. And there was for uh, just a second no defender, so he just went right for the basket. Right now again, another player from Bamberg uh, going for uh, uh, for the basket. This is this is going to be dangerous if they succeed in attacking uh, the the basket like that uh, without a defender. Yeah. Uh, this is this is going to be a score for Bamberg because they are too experienced not to score in this situation. Yeah, but but um, Ege is holding really great. And it's the question of for how long they can keep uh, the concentration and the strength to defend the basket the way they are doing it. And it's because so difficult, right now yeah. Bamber is, is, is putting the, the pace and the speed and so the strength and, and Eger is reacting and eventually you're tired because yes. it's the pace of Bamber, it's not the pace of Eger. But, but even uh, um, um, Eger uh, regains the ball like here, but they are not able to leave uh, their own half of the pool and their... Um, Instantly attacked by the forechecking of Bamberg, which is, like I said, uh, one of the best forechecking I've, I've seen so far. Uh, so it's really like uh, inch by inch they have to fight. Um, and they lost the ball, it didn't even reach the, the half of uh, Bamberg. Now Bamberg is going uh, uh, for, the, for the basket again. And this, the Egge recovered the ball. This is really exhausting by watching one of the one of my favorite games I've seen so far. Um, really fast, really physical, and both teams uh, play uh, really to the to an exhausting level of uh, um, speed and uh, movement. Here they they just try to uh, get a little advantage by moving a little bit uh, farther through the defense through the. Uh, through the pool and it's just inches. Call from the referee uh, on the surface. Let's see what the call is. I mean, three minutes to go from the first half. And Free throw uh, against Bamba has Ege. been in possession of the ball like 70% of the time. So this has to be wearing out Ege. And this is the question. Um, how long they can uh, they can take it? it I mean, they're doing a great job, and uh, but absolutely, uh, they, they play. But the thing is that that is so stressful. You know, all the time under stress, and um, in right now, Bamberg is having the 
breath, I mean the, the ear advantage. and the strength, yeah. the advantage because they are doing their game. So it's, it's not it's not really uh, tiring for them, if you know what I mean. I mean, um, because they are just you know taking the decisions and playing the ball so they can attack. There's a call from the referee. Uh, we don't see what's going on. Uh, Eke player has the ball. <coughs> Referees are up on the surface. Uh, the Bamberg player is talking to the referee. Um, this shouldn't happen like this. Normally, you call both uh, team captains in the discussion if you talk about the game. Uh, but maybe there was a warning. Uh, um, this looks like uh, Lukas Tada, um, the team captain of Bamberg. And he's talking uh, uh, to his guys. And he's known uh, to talk a tough talk. This is Manuel, who scored uh, one of the goals for the Orcas in the last game, and he played also for Sun in Sunnyford for the U21. So timeout, probably timeout for Bamberg. Um, Why? Why should Bamberg? Bamberg is dominating. Yeah, but uh, he's not happy with them not scoring. I think. Uh, mm. Uh, domin do dom to dominate a game and not uh, uh, scoring doesn't help. Okay, we got a message uh, <coughs> like always when Bamberg is playing. Yeah, and sorry, uh, we, we didn't read it before. We, we, just we should have told it before, but uh, we tell it now, sorry. Uh, wir grüßen die Bad Brückenauer unter Wasser Rugby Spieler zu Hause Helga, Anti und Felix bei Bamberg. Ja, yeah, sorry guys, I completely <laughs> I'm toy. Um, so back in the game. Um, now Ege tries again uh, to break free. They own the ball, but it's it's so the forechecking of both teams is so fast and so uh, uh, physically. Uh, demanding uh, if, if one of them uh, um, recovers the ball they're con un instantly under attack but not now this is a chance for Bamberg but uh, one minute or less than one minute to go from the first half and it has been an intense game and intense half mostly on Ege because Bamberg was able to play his game it's been um, even though they didn't score, they are creating the instability and the stress and, and tiring uh, Ege out probably. So um, if they keep pushing with the, this um, kind of wave attacking, probably uh, they might uh, be able to score. This oh, is this a grab is, uh, on, the, on, the, on the head. And uh, there was a call a from fall. the referee. Yeah. Holding the head is not, uh, is not working out this way. And the referee saw it. So free throw for Ege. Okay, this is the end of the first half. We have a three minute break. Interesting, uh, demanding game. Um, um, even watching this game is uh, um, <laughs> exhausting. Because there is there is so much speed and so much concentration. You see, you you cannot let uh, one of uh, the, your opponent uh, give the room to take the space and the ball in the room to swim. So they attack each other constantly, and uh, <coughs> it feels like all the the six players of each team are down in the water and on the bottom at the for checking. Uh, all the time, so there is. It, it, it's almost like they don't take a breath, and it's really fast. Yeah, this is the second game of Bamberg. Apparently, I'm trying. I'm checking the scale. And the, the 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 second of Ege two, I think. And let's see. There's so many matches that I, I already <laughs> cannot keep my eyes concentrated on all these lines. Um, let's see, where is Ege? Mm. Yeah, they play early today against Zurich at round one. And this is the second, correct. So yeah, I'm surprised because then, uh, you know, uh, the Czechs had, you know, uh, four games already, so... 
So uh, check out our Facebook uh, website uh, <coughs> on uh, facebook.com slash Champions Cup. Uh, Eva just came back from another hunting tour of pictures and she will upload them uh, on our Facebook site uh, from the pool area. Really nice pictures. I watched them uh, last night. I uh, couldn't sleep too much uh, rugby in my head. So I checked uh, the Facebook website and uh, really uh, beautiful pictures there from the tournament. And they get a feeling for the atmosphere here uh, of this Champions Cup 2016. We have 286 people in the chat uh, and watching the live stream. <coughs> Sorry, and um, this is the Champions Cup, actually. So uh, you're watching the biggest underwater rugby tournament in the world. Uh, we have uh, 14 nations here in Berlin, 24 teams, and uh, 14 men teams and 10 women teams, and we exactly. are now uh, almost through with the break for Bamberg and Ege, and the second half is about to start. And uh, let's see if Bamber can keep with the um, attack and if Ege can keep up with defending. And uh, so far, uh, Ege has 70% uh, or 80% of ball possession and has been very consequent in attacking. Um, we lost the picture right, right now. now. We lost the picture. And we saw it for a second and it's gone again. Uh, all right, back in the game, picture gone. Uh, this is a stroboscope uh, okay. picture. Yeah. Hope we have we it have back. We have Bamberg um, <coughs> already in position to continue with the attack over the close corner. It's coming uh, towards... Wow, that was grabbing the neck. That was quite rough. And uh, Ege could recover the ball and it's doing a counter-attack and just was stopped by a couple of uh, Bamber players. We have three players and now uh, the next um, Eger player just uh, continue with the uh, counter-attack and they're on top of uh, attacking the, the goalie or try to pass and be in a position on the ball and uh, try to attack over the open side, pass it to the partner and we have three uh, Bamber players defending and trying to keep uh, their basket safe. So uh, we have a message here from uh, Levin Kavas in the, uh, uh, in the live chat, live streams chat. Uh, he tells us, Lorena Wolf, we will win. Uh, Levin Kavas is uh, the head of the CMIS in uh, Turkey. So he's watching the game. Uh, he, he, even with his comments, he looks really excited. So uh, thumbs up for uh, Ege. Let's see who will win. Uh, not decided yet. We have eight minutes ahead. Anything can happen. Anything can happen right now. I wish uh, both teams uh, the best. And they're both uh, playing at uh, the top of uh, the lead playing. Um, I think uh, Bamberg has a little advantage and um, putting more pressure on the Ege basket uh, than Ege on the Bamberg basket, but uh, that can change quickly and easily. And the free throw now against Bamberg for Ege. I mean, again, even though Bamberg is dominating, having more possession of the ball, that's, I mean, that means nothing because um, Ege is defending well and still, you know, any of the teams can do a mistake. It's a free throw uh, against uh, Ege. And uh, yeah, you have to be careful with teams like uh, um, Bamberg or Ege. Um, they both are able to uh, counter-attack and score uh, and uh, switch from uh, defense to attack. Another call, for call from the referees. Referees out of the water uh, on the surface. Seven minutes to go from the second half and we are on the half of Ege and Ege is in position to defend and they are doing it that really consequent and it's really important because Bamber won't take the chance and the f they are pushing the Ege defender so they can you know, provoke a mistake, a hole in the defense so they can score. So Ege has to keep concentrate and have to keep disciplinate and uh, keep the basket safe 
we have one so of the uh, players of Bamberg that just attacked the goalie, but I mean, uh, one of the um, Eger players saved the situation. We have three Eger players that recover the ball, they're trying to counter attack on the wall side, trying to pass through the foretaking of Bamberg that, of course, was not possible. They already catch him and then have him on the surface, have a um, cluster. And ball fell, and Bamber recovered the ball and is trying to counter attack. But we really have four Ege players uh, in position. Um, they are very consequent. They uh, defend uh, very hard. And if they continue like this, because you know I wasn't sure if they were going to be able to keep it. Uh, oh, we have one of the Bamber players right there with the goalie, but Ege recovered the ball and is trying to start a counter attack. However. Uh, for checking of Bamber is doing it not easy for them. They cannot just go through. Ooh. They have uh, two Eger players and made it through, and the goalie uh, of Bamber is in position. But the rest of the players of Bamber are, you know, getting um, back from the attack. Eger is in position of the ball and is trying to build up. So they, uh, I mean, re went back and uh, are waiting for the team to. Uh, assemble, assemble around. Yes. Yeah. And that was a necessary move for Ege to get free in, uh, from their own basket and go in uh, attack mode because uh, um, the pressure on, on their own basket was rising really hard and uh, it's, uh, it, it's just a question of time if you stand uh, against the pressure from a team like Bamberg when they will score. So it was absolutely necessary for them uh, to go in attack mode and uh, to change the side. But now Bamberg is back in uh, uh, ball possession and is fighting for every inch in direction uh, of the Ege basket. But Ege is doing a good job keeping them away. The forechecking of Ege is quite intense. Uh, both teams. I, I don't just think, Lorena. You can you can almost feel the concentration of these uh, players amazing. in the water. Both, yeah, both. it's it's totally. They're all in the zone. They are yes. totally in the moment, play, playing uh, uh, with with all their the, their mind and their heart. And it's really uh, all that is uh, important in this moment is that moment and uh, the possibility score. And here is Bamberg again going in. There is one Bamberg player it's on. That's it. That's it. Bamberg scored against uh, Ege. It's yeah. uh, four minutes left in this game, and it's 1-0 yeah. uh, for uh, Bamberg. It, it is, I have to say, uh, um, and don't take it wrong, I, I love Ege, but uh, um, in the, the Ege, I mean, uh, Bamberg was, in was dominant the and pushing and harder on the so Ege basket than Ege earned, was. Uh, yeah. goal, so yes. Bamberg earned it in the, the way they I played. Mean, how many times have we seen Bamberg have a great uh, match, dominated, and then for a small mistake, get a counter goal and then lost the game? How yes. many times? Yes. And so we, uh, we are happy, you know, that uh, they, I mean, since they are dominating the game, it's also a good earn. There is uh, a timeout now, I think, uh, for Ege probably. Uh, they have four minutes left uh, to... Um, they have four minutes left to equalize and at least to go. Orcas won 6-0 against the uh, Czech team. And it should be on the side already. This was from Daniel. He asked in the yeah. live chat uh, about the results. So tough game, and uh, um, Ege, uh, they, they you see a the bit, um, Ege, they don't talk much. They are uh, super concentrated. Um, I think that right now they are a little bit um, disappointed. Yeah, disappointed and exhausted. Um, but uh, they are playing here, um, two of the, the main top teams are playing here in Champions Cup 2016 at uh, five, uh, almost six o'clock uh, in Berlin. Uh, and... Uh, oh, that doesn't look nice. <laughs> so there's a, a hard uh, uh, bodily dog fighting for the ball. Um, and Ege tries to punch through to get to to the Bamberg basket. Oh, they're really now attacking with everything they have. 
and um, Bamber is trying to recover the ball. They just recover and they're trying to swim away from the goal. There's no one that it's. Oh, there was uh, a grip on the head from the Bamberg player. It was not. It was not occasion. It was not uh, on purpose. But nevertheless, there was a call from. Uh, um, uh, Orcas will play later yeah. to the 30 against Molde. Here's the call from the referee, and that uh, probably because of the grip on the on the head on the mask, and it's against uh, Ege. Two minutes uh, 30 left. This is going to be difficult for Ege. They have to throw in now everything they have um, to go forward. Um, and they have so far, but Bamberg has been... Uh, yeah, yeah, Bamberg uh, knows uh, how the, to interrupt. The better, interrupt. the most experienced team so far, even though they are doing a great... And the clock is ticking, and it's uh, definitely in favor of uh, Bamberg. Uh, they are leading 1-0. And uh, uh, this is uh, this is heartbreaking to see um, the Bamberg player, the the Ege players, struggling so hard. Uh, but uh, like I said, it's earned for Bamberg. Um, they they worked hard on the basket all the time of Ege, and uh, yeah, I mean it. We knew that that that, uh, that with that kind of pressure, it was very very difficult. That eventually they didn't get a you know, through the defense and a score like they did. But Ege has done such a great job with such a discipline, with um, really consequent defending, for checking, and it, it was really hard for Bamberg to score. But right now, Bamberg wants, you know, will do anything to keep the control of the ball, to be in possession, not to risk anything. We have one minute to go, and sitting one minute, a counter-attack can happen and you can score a goal. Uh, so they have to be careful in Eger has been trying to take look l right now we have one Eger oh. against the goalkeeper and this is let's see Call. penalty oh yes penalty. there was the shoulder yeah, was the in the basket you did see it yes exactly. it's this is right the kind of thing that you know they kept fighting and they push it so hard that they provoke the penalty the oh this is tough for Bamberg and this is the opportunity but uh, this is the kind of thing that we saw a lot of time happening to Bamberg you know having been the better team in the position of the ball and in the last minute they lost uh, yes, one yes, game. Yes. That's, that's so sad. Because and it, it, it's a right call. I saw, I yeah. saw the shoulder. Yeah, see, yeah, uh, you could see it even in the stream. Yes. Uh, the shoulder was visible uh, under the ring. Um, yeah, this is a big chance uh, for uh, Turkey now. But uh, uh, we also have to say uh, uh, Bamberg's uh, goalkeepers are one of the best, so uh, this is not a clear uh, um, clear decision now, but a big chance. Um, for Egan. A, yeah, for Egan. Yeah. There's a lot of oh, pressure yeah. um, on the player. Oh, Who no, will I'm do? <laughs> I'm nervous right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm uh, nervous and watching. Um, so I think probably uh, Tarkan himself or Hakan uh, will do uh, the penalty. There's a lot of pressure now uh, on the, uh, the Ege player uh, executing uh, the penalty. Uh, I don't know the name of the Bamberg player. Uh, okay. Okay, he comes from above over the head. He tries. He does exactly what you what we talked about earlier. The player stays between uh, the ball and the basket. The ball and the basket time. exactly, and uh, the the Ege player doesn't succeed in going down it's under him. Seconds to go. Fifteen seconds left. He should go down really fast now. Ten seconds left. Uh, is that is that Wait, uh, the one that is uh, seven seconds? Six seven seconds. seconds. He will not succeed like this. No, he cannot go past it. One second, that's it. He hold it. He hold it. Great job. Wow. Great job. And I have to say that uh, it, it's a deserve. A deserve. Um, still two minutes, almost three minutes to go for th the game. But it was. It's, it's a this Bamberg uh, has been the better team. Uh, the m most possession of the ball, at attacking, very consequent in the fourth checking. So um, this proves, uh, <coughs> you know, um, 
Uh, that's interesting. We see now the the Ege players. No, this is Bamberg. Huh? The ga ah, game is over. Yes, sure. Uh, was that already the break? Ah, that was it. Was almost before the end of the yeah. It was okay. the last second. It was the last second. Okay, so one zero for Bamberg. Congratulations to Bamberg. It was a very hard that game, was a but it was tough very game. good played. And could have been won uh, uh, by uh, uh, Egg Two. It was it was, but uh, there was a uh, oh, don't do this this with the goals, please. <laughs> Just uh, punch them a little bit more uh, to the ground. Uh, we just uh, uh, we repaired the goals uh, last weekend. Took us a whole day, uh, but uh, <laughs> all right, seems to work. Uh, well, hard for Ege uh, and. Uh, I'm a little bit uh, uh, I'm sorry for uh, Eke for uh, uh, losing his game. Malmo and Flipper playing against each other. The quarterfinal G. And uh, hmm. this is going also to be uh, quite a hard uh, game I believe uh, what do you, what's your bet what do you think uh, between Malmo and Flipper I mean Flipper uh, proved to be a strong uh, team they also won against Ega once uh, to zero and uh, I'm I don't know I'm 